Hi, everybody. This is Mary Ellen, Sunflower Girl. Um, hello to everybody. I just wanted to give everybody a welcome, and I wanted to properly introduce myself. Um, I saw a wonderful introduction video from Miss Granny's Garden, and she did a fantastic job. So I got the idea from her and that I would give you an introduction. And I'm from Florida. I have three sons, three daughter-in-laws, five grandchildren. I'm really, really new at this. I'm kind of a little scared, but I can do it. Um, being on here and actually talking to people are, it's new for me. And I hope I, did, I hope I get better. Actually, my kids are real surprised and real proud. Uh, it was my daughter-in-law's from Land of Sunshine and Coffee. It was her idea that hooked me up. I'm still new at it and figuring it out. Believe me, I'm an analog girl living in a digital world. First off, I would like to say thank you to all the wonderful channels that I have visited and subscribed to. Uh, I went to give a shout out to Homestead Heart. I have watched her canning videos over and over, but so I was so afraid of a pressure cooker or canner, but she encouraged me. And now I have been bit by the canning bug. I have been canning like crazy. I can't wait for my garden to get finished so I can start canning everything. And then I heard the other day on uh, from um, Lead um, Lead Seventy Three that uh, do your freezer first. So now I'm thinking about that. So. Lot to think about, but um, I just wanted to say that God blesses me so much. And a um, member of my family found out I wanted a pantry, and he put me a pantry in, so now I have a place to put all my canning goods. And he also knew I wanted a canner, so. He went and bought me a canner and the tools to do it with, so a shout out to Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, I'm going to turn into a cannon fool. And, uh, but through the videos that I've watched from Miss Hart, I have canned Cajun beans, strawberry jam, and both turned out wonderful. I'll give y'all a view of that if I can learn how to turn this camera around when I'm done. Uh, she is, Mrs. H is such a wonderful teacher. I have watched her videos over and over and over before I started. And like I said, I'm no longer afraid of the pressure canner. I love it. But I'm really grateful for her. Y'all excuse me a minute. I had to write everything down so I don't forget it. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. And I would like to give a shout out to 1870s Homestead. I watched her can caramelized onions and I canned caramelized onions. And they also turned out wonderful. And I'm, last, I'd like to give a shout out to... A few other channels that have been so helpful, Lead Farmer 73 and Mrs. Lead Farmer. I love her. Uh, I'm going to try it too. She did containers with all kind of, um, to do your, uh, what do you call that? Uh, your salads. You can just have a container full of salad and just go out and pick your salad. That was amazing. So I'm going to be trying that. And uh, I'm doing pineapples, and I loved playing that game, but I didn't win, but it was very fun. 
And I want to give out a shout out to Broke Farmer because I watch him do his soil for sweet potatoes and then planting his fruit trees and I learned a lot. And y'all need to go to these channels if you haven't ever been to them because they are very, you can learn so much from them because I'm new at this. And I mean, I've had a small garden for about, this is my third year and uh, sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't. Last year I, I did really well. Um, I know that, uh. I turn my garden over and then I compost it with stuff from my kitchen and let it sit for about two weeks. And I turned it over and about a week later there was stuff coming up in it and I hadn't even planted any seed. And I'm going, now what is this? And you know, uh, you know a tree by the fruit it bears. And six of the most beautiful acre nut squash plants came up. And I, those did, I didn't even plant them. They were in my compost. All the seed was in my compost. And I got 29 of the biggest acre nut squash off of those six bushes. They just kept producing and producing. And I didn't even plant them. So sometimes you get surprised. I was like, okay, my yellow squash didn't do any good. But those acre nut squash didn't. I didn't even plant them. So that was amazing. It was very amazing. But I just wanted to give a sh uh, uh, hello and who I am. And, of course, I'm sure you know my name by my title. And I hope to be bringing more videos as I get more courage. And... Uh, I will make another video showing you my new pantry and all my canning goods. Um, that's about it. So y'all have a great day and try these channels out that I was telling you about because you will learn so much. I did and I enjoy it. And it's, it's like we're all a family. It's wonderful. I love it. So have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.